Welcome to Analytics with Nux. Video we're going to see about how to split the column, delimited column, right? Comma delimited column, and that cell into multiple rows. Basically, like uh, it's not a comma delimited file. Basically, you have one column. In that, you have uh, uh, multiple uh, uh, columns, like uh, multiple data with comma separated. Let's try to see it. So you have uh, data here like for this employee he has access to ng123 ng124 ng125 that is delimited column right i mean a comma delimited column now uh, uh, a column with delimited values maybe i can rename it like that that value to be changed it to here right uh, for this employee it has to be converted into rows that is ng123 124 125 that is the ultimate aim. so if you are looking how to change it just continue watch this video if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button right now to learn the tricks in power bi so we have understood uh, what we are going to do today and uh, let me uh, explain when we need to use such scenarios so using a data like this when we have a data like this there is nothing but um, for these employees he should have access to only these products let us try to understand this model you have a sales data dim date and product so these are the different products you have ng123 45 till 132 and these are the employee tables naga kumar sayed and mahesh you have these things now there is a new table this is not related anywhere over here where you are getting like uh, for the email for each email that is the user here okay he is getting these three products these three products he should have access one two three four so sometimes we will receive data like this one record per employee and what are the different uh, products he can able to access one so while you using login to uh, this particular user he can able to see only his products so this is the ultimate aim we will get used to get this data it may be any other scenarios as well but uh, just for your understanding uh, i'm explaining the security access scenario so once you receive this so you cannot join this products with this right because you need to have a single value in your column so that you can join it but using this you cannot join it so we need to replicate each time i mean how many products he has magesh has uh, four uh, access four products access so magesh has to repeat four times for each products so in order to do that it is very quick trick we are already aware of that is split and using unpivot these are the two items we need to do to get the desired result so split column by delimiter you use comma so first step is to split by different uh, products so in this case instead of choosing uh, the four uh, columns and uh, you choose uh, unpivot uh, columns i would like to prefer choose the email and choose unpivot other columns this is more safer because now mahesh has got four uh, products access in future some other employee will get five to six products access as well so this will be split to six columns so if you choose these four products other two columns will be ignored so it's always better to choose email then click on unpivot other columns so if it can be a four or five or any other products you, the user get access a number of columns it get generates no issues for you. you this always works unpivot other columns clicking on email will work perfectly all right now this has given you see for naga three products for mortgage one two three four so four products he got records so this column we can get rid of remove now we can rename it as product access so how to give a product access that will be a separate video but to demonstrate uh, this quick trick like uh, converting um, a co value in a column the comma uh, delimited values in a column to multiple rows that is the objective of this video if you like this video share and subscribe to the channel if you are new to this channel and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset